welcome back to me doing a reaction thing to Hell's a Paradise. Today I'm checking out episode three. Woo! The last uh, episode, even the, the first one, the, the first two episodes have been mwah. They've been really good, bro. Really good. Um, I feel like the only little damn you found uh, the only little complaints I have for the show, and there's so many new is the um the the, the um. How do I describe it? Having a sort of comprehension to the place that Gabi Maru was training with, you know, um, that village, right? Then the same thing can be said for Sagi and uh, the Yama, Yamada, whatever thing, executioners that she is. Um, not that I can't buy into how strong they are, their assassin skills, their whatever, right? Because it's just the first episode the first introduction of it it's like oh wait what um we're supposed to buy into this right and i don't know maybe maybe the manga's better maybe it's not uh but it, it's not sometimes it throws you off or at least for me because it's like i i kind of want to believe into the powers right or the skills per se but when you only have like one episode to be like, oh, this is how they did it. Boom. That's it. We're never going to talk about it again. It, it can get a little bit frustrating. I, I'm not sure if this show will do that, but it's just I'm, I'm putting it out there. Now, all right, let's move forward. We got the gist. Pretty much we have uh, some criminals. We got to go to an island. We got to get uh, some elixir or immortality. They're going to be followed by a, um, a sort of... Um, uh, executioner person pal person right <laughs> now what can go wrong what will go wrong what's in the island what's hiding in the island you know um crazy stuff especially if the place is called hell's paradise i mean <sighs> i mean it literally will go in any scenario i, I feel like I, I don't even know i have not even an idea I do like the brutality in episode two. It was pretty freaking surreal. The way Gabin Morrow just ripped that dude and just with his bare hands, you know? I also like the psychological um, crisis between the characters because I love that. I also love inner monologues. I love how characters grow and understand through their flaws, you know? Um, let alone, I also love, I love it even more when you see characters uh, digress in their flaws. And we got that with Sagi and Gabamaru. Anyway, don't want to make a big ass intro. Let's do it. Let's uh, do the reaction. All right, here we uh, go. Oh, fun faces. Oh. Oh. I like that. So he believes in it. He he knows it's real because he probably, well, I don't want to say probably. He, we just saw that he saw it with someone before. And does that mean that Sagi and Gabi Mario are together? Interesting. You know, they're like showing so many characters and I'm yet oblivious to it. <laughs> Ooh, so they are together. I like how she's like, yeah, bro, follow the rules. Listen to me order. Oh! Your first kill? Dislocated his neck. I don't remember having the last episode. Just 
There's no need to get into a discussion about that right now. Oh, wow. He's really trying to be one of those guys like, ah, you suck. How come he gets weapons? How is he so, like, invincible? It can't just be because of training. Damn. He just really tell him to get good. <gasps> Bro, we just blanked and you're dead. Ooh, hey, hey. <coughs> Meow. That makes sense. They don't function unless you depend on everyone to follow them. For some people, they don't even make it at all. Just like this man. Would you like me to take care of them? Oh. We're pretty short on time, as it is, you know? So let's get past the stupid jokes. All I want to do is get back to my plan. The rest of it doesn't matter. I feel like we're going to hear that for many episodes. I just want to get back to my wife. He's stuck with the big guy. Oh no, you're You gotta be kidding me. I don't know what we just saw was just something that he's speculating or what did that I don't know what just happened. Even though we travel together for days now, I still don't understand this man's true character. Uh, Alright, which way should we? Okay. Why did you do that? I wanted to give you my right hand so you stop me. I knew it. I can't see his true nature. I hope. This show's wild. Look at his freaking eyes, even as a baby. You know, so much for just standing there. And guiding. If you kill your monitor, then you've broken the rules. It's all about priorities. That's what your buddy said. Yeah, the newer guy with the is the island. Everything goes up in smoke. It would be if I had to buy the elixir of life before that happens. It's nothing personal. It's just a hindrance. Killing me. Oh. Sometimes you don't have any other option. Sorry for having to die. You didn't really have to do this now. Can we just get along? Why can't we be friends? Damn, look at that. Oh, creepy. She's like, you can, you can put your sword in my sheath. <laughs> Always have protection. Let me see what the truly capable of. I need to face my own emotions head on as 
Wow, that's that's deep, man. Beautiful. What the hell are these? <laughs> uh, creepy. Oh, no way. You're gone, goo. Oh my god, the <laughs> fingers. What the hell? Very yeah, he just said interesting. That's just bizarre. Yet another solid good episode of Hell's Paradise here. Uh, yet again, what I love is just that drought, that flaw, that hindrance that makes us human. You know, the emotions, feelings, you know, self-doubt. Um, you know, coming away from that darkness to become someone new and... I love that poetry and to see this here in this show and in this type of style and with this type of violence um i love it i know this is gonna be fun now let's talk about the elephant in the room there hopefully um that little monologue thing conversation thing from one of the executioners i hope this doesn't become a promised neverland situation I hope to the anime gods that they did not just fast forward a shitload of episodes. Please don't do that to me. Cause like, I literally, while the guy was talking, we saw a whole bunch of criminals die. We saw a bunch of, of executioners die. You know what I mean? Like characters die. I thought, oh, we're gonna spend many of episodes with these, but no, they're dead. They're gone, gone goof. Um, That scares me because as I can tell, the manga has a lot of chapters for a probably a series of 60 some episodes, right? Maybe a hundred episodes, right? Um, depending on how they would want to flourish it. But, um, you know, sometimes animes are not adapted, you know, correctly. You know, some of them don't get the My Hair Academia, the Attack on Titan treatment, you know? So I'm a little scared now. I'm gonna have to do some research and hopefully everything is okay. Now, okay, as far as the story goes, uh, Sagi and Gabimaru have sort of a, uh, they, they, they met halfway, if not even more, uh, to an understanding of like Gabimaru's, uh, I don't know, um, psyche, I guess. And him feeling not necessarily him feeling hollow but also being labeled hollow he, he's so in tune with that mentality that he has forgotten that he's not really hollow at all you know he, he has evolved and he's trying to evolve it's almost like a person um going through like uh trying to describe it like someone with addiction right and and they're just about to break they're about to get back into the the drugs or whatever it is that they're addicted to but um Gabimaru is trying to be the opposite of that. He's like, nah, I, I, no, no, no. And Sagi seeing that, she's like, yo, bro, I, I can see it in your eyes. Like, you know, there, there's a lot of fire in there. <laughs> but all right, uh, cool stuff. The biggest stuff of the episode, or at least the future of the show now, is Gabimaru is shedding bricks because um, being now that the criminals are killing the executioners and vice versa, right? Um, that... They're gonna send in more of they're gonna send people from his village you know so remember that's the same village he betrayed so 
He's like, fuck, these motherfuckers are gonna come here and, and kill me. I gotta get that elixir and be immortal and then I won't die. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, weird creatures have showed up. Um, okay, sure. And uh, I'm sure we might get an explanation for that. Maybe we won't. I don't know, but um, I really hope that in the next episode we get perspective of all these other criminals and executioners and whatnot please be that way i really hope that this show gets its proper adaptation if not oof. i'll let you guys know on the next video all right that about does it for my video as always make sure you leave any feedback in the comment section uh, like the video uh, subscribe if you're new uh, and uh, if you want to support me more, check out the Patreon. You'll find uh, full reactions uh, there. And always, God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye.